let's see, are we together? Yes. Yes, we're here. <laughs> Am I here? I don't know. Am I having fun? Um, good morning. Welcome. Um, I'm wondering today if any of you, when you were kids, played Ring Around the Rosie or any kind of game where you got into a circle and people held out their hands and, and you, you held hands and you joined together and then you moved together round and around, Ring Around the Rosie. You all fell down together at the end and it was fun. And I'm also wondering if um, maybe you saw the movie The Shack where God was portrayed as an African-American woman, um, Holy Spirit was an Asian woman and Jesus was Jesus over here. Um, and they all sat around a table together. The main character sat around the table with um, God, Jesus, Holy Spirit. Okay, so circle those, those visions, keep those in, in your thoughts there. But if you're raised in the church, maybe um, your vision of the Trinity or your picture or your schematic drawing of the, the Trinity was always God the Father on the top and then a triangle with Jesus on one side, Holy Spirit on the other. And then there was this long straight line in between in this triangular shape. So today I'm gonna to invite you, based on our, our scripture verse for today, to, to imagine that this triangular shape is pulled out and becomes a circle with maybe God the Father on the top, God, whatever, however you conceive God to be, Jesus on one side, Holy Spirit on the other side, but they have pulled that line down to include you here around the table. So it's not that pointy version, that sharp edged version that maybe we grew up with, but it's a circular, inclusive. Um, I like to think of the Holy Spirit as Maybe like, it's like the rosary or a, or a, a necklace or a, a circular, um, maybe like a, a circle of flowers that is joined together in relationship, a thread that goes through and joins together so that they, everyone can see one another well. I can see up to God the Father well. I can, I'm, I'm attached to spirit, I'm attached to Jesus, and they're all attached to each other and we are all together. So in line with that, I want to share with you an image that was painted in the uh, 1400s, about 1410. And it's a very famous icon of the Trinity. Um, and it, you'll notice that they are around a table. But I wanna point out to you that there is space at the table for you, okay? And me, we can think of it as individuals. We can think of it as the entire world having space at the table all of our brothers and sisters together at this table. So I'm just gonna show it to you now. Can you see? Interesting picture here. I love this picture of the Trinity. To me, they all look like female too. They're, they're all female, and which is interesting. I've, I haven't read anything about that, but I just kind of thought about that when I saw it. But notice that space in the front of the table, and that is the place where they're welcoming you welcoming you to come and sit and be a part of the conversation, the meal, the relationship. So, yes, beautiful. This is out of a book, The One Thing is Three by Father Michael Gately. He writes a lot about Catholic theology and I've really been enjoying that lately. And, and his theology in general is very interesting and really um, nice to read. So, the one, Thing is three. I'm reading it now. Don't know how it's going to end, but it's interesting. So the one thing is three. There's room at the table for you today. They're inviting you to come in. Okay. okay. So let's take our space, our place on the mat. And rest. Welcome. Resting down. Of late, there's a prayer that was introduced to me, and it's, it's a, actually a novena, which is a nine-day prayer. You pray a little bit of it each day for nine days. 
And the thread that um, carries through it is surrender. So you read a little bit each day about what Jesus is saying, and then the prayer that you pray is, Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. Ah, and that has saved me many times lately. So I'm going to share that with you this morning. Jesus, take care of everything. I surrender myself to you. That covers a multitude. You know what I'm saying? From what to have for dinner, to the state of the world, to whatever is in your heart. So, Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. My prayer for our class today. So, lying back on your mat, let's take a moment to look and notice the sacred ordinary all around you. The place where you live, And when you think of home, how does this environment feed that image? Relationship. And then if you're comfortable closing your eyes, I invite you to close your eyes and listen. The sounds of home, the sounds of Maybe what's going on in your kitchen. And what are your relationships like at home? What circles do you seek every day? Whose company do you seek? And maybe there aren't many people around. Maybe this is a season where it's hard. You might feel a little lonesome. But just notice what you hear in your sacred space this morning. And then maybe get a sense of the feel, the feel for the space around you. We often walk through our days on autopilot and that's not to be accusatory, it's just kind of the way it is, we, we do that. But let's take a moment to really sense our environment, the air around you, the place where God lives and moves, the Holy Trinity. Three concepts in one love. There's Jesus around you, companion, savior, maybe more like a friend or a brother. There's Abba, Father, who is our sustainer, creator, all love, whose thoughts and words brought to life all of us in this place where we live. And then Holy Spirit, wind, breath, teacher, advocate, counselor, nurturer. Which of those three speaks most clearly to you when you're in a place of prayer? Do you seek out one aspect of the Godhead more than another? And that's fine. We all have our ways of being present to Father, Son, Holy Spirit. But in this space, you are loved, you are seen, you are held. Sacred space. So now turning your awareness to your body, resting here, and notice what you brought with you this morning, what parts of you might feel a little cranky today, which parts are joyful, which parts feel alive and frisky and free and ready to rock and roll. And all of it is a beautiful part of who you are today. Can we welcome in any thoughts, any feelings? Take a moment to notice your body Notice how you feel, notice what you think, just notice yourself. And maybe take a moment to counterintuitively perhaps welcome in everything. Just be present to all that you are. And then noticing your breath. life-giving breath, 
turning your awareness to how your inhale might feel this morning. Noticing your exhale. How does it feed you? How does it not feed you? What is happening? Where are you? It's okay. Wherever it is. And you just accept yourself right now. You know, that's what I'm doing here with you today also. I'm here <laughs> just having to go with who I am and we, that we're all together. And I give thanks for that. And God is guiding us. Jesus, I surrender this all to you today. So where is your breath? You might want to begin to lengthen out your inhale as you soften your belly. Allow the breath to come in and expand the abdominal wall. Maybe the ribs will separate. Heart might feel like it's opening a little bit. What do you feel as you sip in a long, slow, full, and deep breath? Can there be some sense of expansion as we create space for presence today between every cell? That bathing of a, soothing, a soothing balm for our entire being. The in-breath that brings in expansion, life, health, energy to all of our cells, all of the muscles, every organ, every thought, allowing us to begin to notice the space between thoughts and that underneath each thought, each way of being aware, there is a river of silent breath that sweeps through, cleansing, bringing you life, feeding your spirit, knowing you perfectly and loving you well today. In the breath. So rest for a moment in this breath, noticing your inhales, noticing your exhales. Can you hear your breath? like a gentle wave coming in. And the wave of the tide ebbing out. Gentle flow in. Sweet flow out. So on your inhale, notice how you feel at the top of your inhale. Hold it. And letting your breath swoosh out. Noticing how you feel at the bottom of your exhale. And maybe you'll feel that desire, that natural urging of the body for that next breath. So you're inhaling. You can count on it. Exhaling, softening. So resting in the rhythm of your breath, I'm going to share with you our verse for today. And it's from the book of Revelation, chapter 3. And it says, listen, I'm standing at the door knocking. Can you hear that? Imagine, just listening. You hear someone knocking. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come into you and eat with you and you with me. I will come in. If you open the door, I will just come in and eat with you and you with me, and we will share this circle of relationship. We will sit at the table together. We'll have coffee maybe. Maybe we'll play cards. Maybe we'll just chat. Maybe we'll put a big bowl of fruit in the center of the table. Maybe I'll bring out ice cream or something yummy to dine on, and we'll look at each other in the eyes, and we will share our hearts together. So what would that look like for you today to sit with, who is it, Abba Father? Is it Jesus, your companion, Savior, friend? Is it Holy Spirit, your breath, fire, wind of life? Is it all three in this one beautiful circle? You step into the circle today 
and share this meal of life together. As we share with everybody all over the world who, who knows the Trinity, we all belong at that table together. So as you rest in your sacred space, there are people all over the world in the circle with you. Lord God, we send out our prayers today to everyone, everywhere. People who choose to step into the circle and people who don't because they are all loved by you. As you send out your cord of kindness, draw them into yourself today. Draw us toward you today in the circle around this table. A table of blessing, a table of abundance and joy and all the fruit of the Spirit. Thank you for dining with us today. And Jesus says to us, the Holy Trinity is in each one of you, more or less according to the room that you allow it. For as you know, God never forces anyone. He asks and waits. What is God asking you today for? What relationship? Oh, how wonderful. Father God, Abba, Jesus, Holy Spirit, in all the ways you come to us in nature as maybe a mother instead of a father, all the ways that you speak to us in smiles of friends, in our troubles and our joys, just we sit at your table today. Thank you. May we open ourselves more and more to receive your fruit, your nourishment. As we go through our practice today, nourished in the breath, nourished in movement, nourished in presence. It's in Jesus' name, amen. So what are you feeling today in response to these words of, of God to us to come and join in at the table? And so maybe in a, an awareness of abundance and receiving, let's take a big stretch mm -hmm. in whatever way would feel right for you in your body today. And I'll go grab my blanket here. So maybe you have a towel folded or a little pillow or your own blanket. I invite you to sit on it. Just come on up to sitting. Perch on the edge of your blanket, your pillow, and then take your legs out. So as we think about creating space around the table today, um, we want to create space in our body. So we're just going to do our basic joint freeing series this morning. I'm going to back up so you can see what's happening. Where am I going? Let me go back here. So here are my feet right here. So I'm going to start with my feet. Pressing out, toes up, and sitting up nice and tall if you need to support next to, your, next to you or with your hands. That's good. And so we'll flex and point through the feet. I invite you now to really look down, notice your feet, and watch them moving back and forth. Notice your breath, maybe a sense of lightness, a lift in the heart as your feet move back and forth, and then circling around through your ankles. Very gentle, very easy. You know, as, as um, our reading just said, God never forces anyone. He's just so polite, he knocks at the door, Stands up there and says, okay, I'd love to join you today, but if you're not ready for that, then know that I'm with you. And I'm always waiting for you to open this space. So let's reverse your circles of your feet and create that gentle openness today. Good. And so let's reach down toward our ankles and we'll begin to massage our legs. So have you come home to yourself this week at all? Um, if not, this is a time to lovingly take your hands on your legs, this one body, this beautiful vessel that we've been given, and just be kind. And notice how the palms of your hands pick up the sense of awareness of your legs. Working the way up around the knees, give yourself a massage around your knees. And working behind your knees, some gentle massage, which um, stimulates your lymphatic system to start pumping the lymph, the whole, the, this whole process gets the lymphatic and immune system working. So we'll breathe behind the knees, come on up through your thighs. 
And I'm going to encourage you to just work in the groin a little bit. This is another place where you have lymph nodes. We're just going to work around in there and get open the pathway, open the path for the lymph to, to come on up through the lymphatic vessels. And then we'll come to the belly. We'll just rub out your belly a little bit this morning. Maybe you're holding some tension there. Maybe you're digesting. So if that's the case, just a little soft motion and maybe just around in a circle. Mm -mm -mm. And then we'll come on up and today we'll work the breast area. So we wanna just work around. You have lymph ducts in here too. You wanna get all that fluid moving out. Reach under your arm on the opposite side. Get that going, the other side going and moving so it doesn't get stagnant. And so give your breasts some little squeezes to get all the, the lymph moving out. Good. And then we'll come up to the chest and, and just start out to the side. Give yourself some little, little strokes out side to side. And then back to center. Coming from outside to inside. Good. And we'll start at the, we'll come to the clavicle and just Take your hands, maybe just um, maybe your little knuckles and just sort of gently swipe here, moving from center in and then move out to the side. Breathe. Good. And then we'll come down the neck. Your neck, my neck, our necks, a little bit together. And so how does this feel? It's very gentle and hopefully very calming and soothing for you today. This is also work in the lymphatic system. We'll go up the back of our head. And this, we usually go this front to back today. We're just going to start with the back of the neck. Come on. Move up. Smooth out your hair. Just enjoy that feeling of uh, soothing this morning. Nice and easy. And then we'll come to our face. I'm going to start with the chin and just move forward a little bit. And then back up. And come back up towards your cheeks here. Just gently take your fingers and come on up. A little light stroke, doesn't have to be hard. Just notice how it feels for you. Yep, and then we'll come under the cheekbones around towards your ear. Breathe. How does this feel for you today? And then we'll come to center and smooth out side to side. Breathe. And let's take our peace fingers here, one on front, one behind your ear, and let's just rub up and down. Breathing, so deep breaths also stimulate the lymphatic system, the, the nodes that are deep in the belly, kind of on, running on front, the front of your spine. So if you were looking at a skeleton, the part that faces you on the inside of the spine, some lymph nodes that run on either side. So if you deep breathe, that's another reason why yoga is so good for you, is that it encourages that deep breath to keep the lymphatics going. And then we'll just massage our ears all around. Inside, outside. And then We'll take the tops of our ears, pull them straight up. Take a breath. Take the ears out side to side, give them a little tug. And then ears down. Another breath. So at the bottom of your exhale, let's just rest hands in our lap or beside you. And notice how your body feels. Okay, so we have the circulation, the lymphatics moving a little bit. Let's take the knee up and then press the foot out and bring it in, out and in. This also gets lymph going. It's the joints lubricated, which we all need, creating space in our bodies for sitting around that table. And breathe. And other side, take it up, press it out. Be mindful, feel it as it comes in. Press it out. Good. And then we'll take the legs out, separate them a little bit. Take our hands to support us here. You want to keep your belly in though, don't just like slouch around. Sit up nice and tall, and we're just going to rock the, the feet inside and out. 
rocking back and forth. Breathe. Shake it out. Good. So keeping the legs right where they are, let's allow the right foot to the, the hold from the hips, um, turning the leg in, sail that leg over toward the opposite foot. And we're going to go outside and inside. So just notice, like you can see here what I'm doing. You don't have to have your leg lifted like this, but you can run it along the floor. So it's just, it's working this hip and it's also engaging your quadriceps a little bit. Just out and in, just to your level of comfort. Back and forth, come back in and we'll take it out and then shake it out and let it rest. Then we'll do the other side. So let's roll that leg in, sit up tall, take the leg in toward the other foot and sail it out. And you're just skating back and forth, side to side. So if you took a uh, dance when you were younger, or maybe you still do, it's a, just a gentle turn out and turn in. So it's turning out, turning in, breathe. Your level of comfort, your range of motion. You, know, you can drag it along the floor just a little bit if you want to, but it's mostly for the leg, the, uh, the hip. And then come back, shake that leg out, breathe. On your exhale, let it go. Let everything go. Legs are relaxed. Good. So now we'll bend your knees and take your feet to the mat. So you're just kind of hanging out here. Maybe it's like you're sitting on the, the beach on a little towel right by the, um, the waves coming in. And so you're just hanging out here, but you're lifting in your heart. I'm just going to take the knees side to side, swivel. Notice how this is for you today. Back and forth, good. And then we'll take the right leg out, the right leg out, left knee in, hold anywhere that's comfortable. And uh, any, every day is gonna be different. Like today, <laughs> for me, um, this whole thing of hugging in, probably not gonna happen, I'm a little tight. So I'm just gonna take it out here today. I'll sit up tall, take my opposite leg out with some energy, toes are up, and just rock it. Ooh, Lordy. Breathe. Ooh, what do you feel? How is this? Rocking back and forth without forcing. Let's be polite today and invite ourselves around our own table in a way that's compassionate, not judging. Enjoy your breath. And we'll come back to center here. Drop your foot to see, notice how you feel when you sit up tall here. This is enough stretch or opening for the back of your uh, right hip. You can, maybe it's your left hip. I think it's your left hip, my right. So we're going to back up and stay here if you'd like to drop that leg out. If you want to bend the knee underneath and get a little bit more opening, please do that. You're just noticing here as your heart lifts. Your hips stay grounded here. And you might want to flex the foot that's on the floor. See how my toes are coming up? This gives you a little bit more sensation. See how that feels. So your leg that with this this foot. It's flexed here. Notice that uh, leg that's it's just in alignment with the hip to the knee, knee to the ankle. This foot here, the, the waving foot, is in alignment with your shin. Wow. And then we'll take that foot down, stretch your leg out. And so if you'd like to keep your foot here for a little twist, you can stay here. If you want to keep, take the foot inside. Maybe a little ways apart, maybe a hand's breadth apart from your legs. See how that feels for you. So which is better for you, this side or this side? See what works. So we're going to do a little twist here. So let's say your left leg is up. Right arm, opposite arm is going to come out, whatever, whatever foot you have in front. So let's inhale this arm up, straight up. And then we're just going to take a gentle twist around. Take the hand either to the outside of the knee, pull on to the knee, but wherever you are, lift the heart. Notice that you're grounded in your hips. Take a little 
twist here. Doesn't have to be far, just notice, because we're lifting the spine, lengthening and creating space between our vertebrae, lifting the crown of your head straight up and then turning around that axis. It's sort of like pulling a dishcloth long and then twisting it. So that's where we are, a little twist. Breathe, on your inhale, lift your spine. And on your exhale, sail around in the other direction, just to release it, a little counter pose. And we'll come back to center. We'll take the foot that is on either inside or outside, lay it down, lay that knee down. So if you're here and this is feeling a strain, you can take another blanket if you have a block or a pillow or something to support the outside of your thigh. That's a good thing. So if you need to stop here and go get something to help yourself, please do it. Just pause it. You can come back. I'll be here. So take care of yourself today. So sitting up nice and tall, we'll take a breath, lengthen our spine nice and tall here, and hinge forward. So what we're looking at here is lengthening out in the back of our leg. It's creating a little easy space. We're making room at the table, you know, that's what we're doing. So breathing here, leading with the heart. Sailing out, and we're just starting. So, you know, you're just getting a sense. Maybe you want to rock back and forth just a little bit. See how you feel there. Just listen to your body. And then we'll come back up. Take that leg out, shake it out, and we'll change sides. So what do we do? We rock first. So bring that knee in. Find your seat here. Take the long leg out with energy, pressing out your foot and your toes, and we'll just rock it out. So for some of us, it's easier said than done, but just take it to your own level of comfort. If what you want to do is stay here and rock it a little bit, that's fine too. You're moving. Whatever movement you can do comfortably, please do that. Just, you know, as the physical therapists say, motion is the lotion. So we're just lotioning up the joints in whatever way we can today. We'll rock it side to side, good, and then just hold, hold a little bit here, breathe, and we'll rest this ankle across the opposite knee, sit up tall, notice how you feel, if you want to stay here, stay here, and if your foot is down by your ankle, that's great too, wherever it is, just be there and enjoy it, breathe. And then if you'd like, we'll shift back, bend the bottom knee, find a little more sensation, if you like, in the opposite hip. So here we are. Come home to yourself now. I'm just going to be quiet. We'll take a few breaths here together, feeling, sensing, noticing. You like to pick up the opposite toes now, enjoy it. If you feel like you're craving a little more sensation there, a little opening, breathe. And then we'll rest the toes down, straighten that leg out. And we'll take the foot either inside the calf, maybe the hands width apart, or you can take it across the outside of your opposite leg. So the leg that's long here has that energy pressing out, sitting up tall. We'll take opposite hand up, and then begin to turn towards your knee. So take either hand to your knee, arm on the inside of the knee, keeping your, your chest broad. Opposite hand comes around behind to support. So before you even begin this um, spiral here, Grounding your hips, maybe shift the right hip back a little bit. If that's the leg that's in front, shift it back a little bit because that will initiate your twist. Then the spine spirals around to follow. So stay lifted. Find your breath. Notice the energy running out the long leg, up through the spine, while grounded in the hips. Soften your shoulders and breathe here. 
Allow the breath to spiral up your spine out through the crown of your head. Easy twist. Take a breath here and lengthen your spine tall. On your exhale, let's just release, sail around the other way. Counter pose, unwind. Yes, sorry, take a breath and back to center. And then we'll take this foot to the inside of that long leg. So it can be by your ankle, up the top of your thigh, wherever you're comfortable, somewhere in between, just not pressing on your knee. Sit up tall here. So we begin with always a tummy in, spine lifted. Take a breath. If you want to take your arms up, that's good. Exhale, lead with the heart. So the shoulders are soft, but you're reaching forward toward me. And then hands sail down, find the mat, lengthen out with your heart, and then make your way forward. And so what does this feel like for you today? Breathing, softening, you can close your eyes here. So this is lengthening out the muscles behind your leg, the hamstring, calf muscles, sole of your foot. You take a moment to feel. If you like to shift your sit bones back behind you a little bit, maybe that will increase your sensation a little bit. But when you're ready, come on up to sitting. And then we'll take both knees out again and sit up tall. We're just gonna align our spine here, sit up tall. This is like a seated cat-cow. So you wanna sit up, throw your heart up tall. Exhale, begin by tilting the pelvis, round back, gather your belly in, and round your head forward, chin to chest. And we'll inhale opposite, lift up, shoulders down, open your heart, lift. Exhale, scoop and round. But take this at your own pace for a little bit. And if your lower back is compromised here, just don't go back so far. You wanna only go back so far that you're comfortable. Notice how you do feel as you move back and forth. This is our little camel ride today. We move up and back. Good. And then sitting up nice and tall, let's come to sitting. So last week we talked about a hand posture or a mudra, as they call it, um, in yoga. And the hand posture for last week was all the fingertips touching. And this signifies the integration of your whole self, all parts of you coming together. The light, the dark, what you see as good and bad, everything, the, the, the painful, the joyful, but just a connecting with all parts of your body, all parts of your being coming together. And take your uh, heels of your hands together. But today we're going to, as we focus on the community with the, the Trinity around that table, just take all the, the pads of your fingers all together in prayer. We call it prayer mudra, anjali mudra, come to the heart. And this is where we truly gather God's presence into our heart space. We want to become one with that. As Jesus says, well, I'll come in and have supper with you. I will move in. Our Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Mother, all of us just, the moving van pulls up to the heart, doors open, everything moves out. All the boxes of God's presence coming on in, making themselves at home right in here within you. And then the doors close, and here you are together in a quiet space. So we invite you to sit up tall. Close your eyes here if it's comfortable. Notice your hips settling in. Notice your spine growing tall. Crown of your head lifting. And then gather your awareness into your heart space. How does that look for you? That home, that heart, H-E-A-R-T-H, -E that heart, where you gather in God's presence. And find your breath here, and let's just take some soft, easy, full breaths. 
With each breath, your spine grows taller, creating more space in your heart, in your body. On your exhale, staying tall, but resting in presence. Can you hear your breath moving into your body? And as your breath switches out, can your body rest around the table? Maybe you're imagining it as reclining at table, munching on grapes, dipping bread in oil, having conversation, resting, enjoying. And then we'll slowly take our hands down to our knees, or you can take your palms to your upper thighs, rest them there. We'll draw your shoulders on your inhale up towards your ears, roll them back behind you and gently pressing down to broaden your heart. And then on your next exhale, let's draw chin to chest. And in your inhale, floating your chin up, we'll take face to the sky. And then exhaling down. And then coming back to center. So on your next exhale here, let's drop the right ear to the right shoulder. And the left hand down toward the mat, just sending fingertips down. Reaching out, drawing circles on the floor and exploring. How does your arm feel at every point in that circle? And then reaching way out long through the side of your neck, down through your arm, your elbow, forearm, fingers. Allowing the shoulder that's pressing down to just soften away from your ear. Both shoulders rest. And breathe. Now we'll spread our fingers. Turn your thumb up toward the sky so your palm is facing forward now. And we'll tilt our chin up and back. Breathe. Really stretching out through your fingers here. Reaching away. And then we'll take our hand back up to the thigh and gently guide your head back to center. Whatever that looks like, you can roll it down and then come back up or just gently lift back through center and We'll side to side look there, and then we'll take opposite ear, opposite shoulder, checking in here. So notice that your spine continues to stay tall and center, and you're just letting your head drop to the side. Now the opposite fingertips reach out, so maybe it's your right fingertips reach out now. And again, noticing how you feel from the crown of your head down over your ear, down through your um, neck, down through your shoulder, your arm fingers. Easy, soft breath. Think about creating space. And spreading your fingers wide. We'll turn your thumb up, so palms facing forward, and tilt your chin up and back. Breathe. So this might target the front of your neck off to the side there from where you connect with the back of your ear down to your clavicle. You can even press in and away. See how that feels for you. And then we'll take our hand back to our knee and make your way back to center. Facing forward, spine is tall. Let's take a little gaze over our right shoulder. Gaze over to the left. And back to center. We'll take fingers, interlace in front of your chest, turn your palms out, take a breath. And then pressing out, round your spine, soft shoulders. Drop your ears if you can between your arms. Press out. And inhaling up nice and tall. Press up, shoulders soft, press up. Exhale, release, float your arms down. Feel the space all around you.
Breathe easy. Good. And then just come back, hands to the heart once again. Breathing here. Noticing your knuckles pressing, palms touching. Thumbs are nestled into the heart. And that is that connection, right and left sides of your body. Take your fingertips now up to your forehead and we'll think about here maybe making that connection with the head, with your brain, with your thoughts. And from there, drawing your thumbs back down through the center of your body to your heart, connecting head with heart. Breathe. And then we'll take our hands down and come around to all fours. Swing on around here. We're just going to be here for a moment. You can take a towel or a blanket under your knees if you'd like. And then stretch one leg out behind, press through. And then knee in, press the other leg out. Just pressing out through your calf, opening up the sole of your foot. And we'll come back here and tuck your toes under. We want to open up the soles of our feet. So we'll walk our hands back to whatever is, wherever is comfortable for you, sitting back towards your heels. So pressing back here. So if this is as far as you like to go, if this feels good, and you're opening the soles of your feet in a way that feels just right for you, stay here. If you'd like, you can lengthen up. Take your hands to your thighs. Sit up nice and tall. And just allow the soles of your feet to open. It's a lot of pressure on your toes and an opening for the soles of your feet. So if it's too much, come on back down. Find your way down, maybe to your knees, maybe hands to the mat. And breathing here. So if you're sitting up, take a breath. Shoulders are broad. Breathe. And we'll come back to all fours. Release your toes away from you. Let the soles of your feet rest. If you're more comfortable with toes under, that's fine too. But we want to find our transverse abdominal muscles. So let your belly just relax here. Just kind of let it hang down. And then draw your belly in, your belly button towards your spine. So that's what you want to feel when you're drawing in your abdominal muscles. So let's do it again. Take it down. Let it go. And then draw your belly button up to your spine. And this is where you want to stay. Let's try it again. Maybe take a breath. Let your tummy poke out. And then on your exhale, think about gathering your abdominal muscles in up toward your spine. The belly button comes in. So those are your muscles you want to keep engaged, but keep the breath moving. And we'll take the right leg out. Send it out behind us and lift it up. So see how that feels. If that's stable for you with your hips um, level, stay there. And then if you can, take the opposite arm and reach out ahead. So this is a little gentle core work for us today. Just reaching out, reaching out, take some breaths. And then take your hand down, take your knee down, and we'll go to the other side. So other leg comes out. Notice that your belly button's drawn up towards your navel. The hips aren't rocking open or closed, they're level. Lift up this leg, press out the strength. And if it's comfortable for you, take your opposite arm out. Reaching out, breathing, 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 just easy breaths as you reach out end to end. And as you reach out in opposite directions, you'll find that your tummy needs to come in to hold you stable. So find that strength, find that line of energy that comes from the belly button all the way out through the front fingertips all the way back through your foot. And then take your hand down, knee down, and we'll press back into child's pose. So just allowing your head to rest here on maybe a blanket, a block, a pillow. You can take your hands back by your heels if that's more comfortable, shake out your wrists. So we'll go back maybe to that prayer I told you about this morning where we just let Jesus have everything. We just say, Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. What a wonderful prayer. It just covers it all, right? Sometimes it can be just so simple. And scripture tells us that when we don't know how to pray, the Holy Spirit intercedes on our behalf. 
So maybe there's something inside of you today that doesn't even know how to express itself. Maybe there's a part of you that just needs the Holy Spirit to come in and intercede for you today. So let it be. Just let it be. Rest here. Breathe. Surrender. That's possible. And how does it feel to let go? How does it feel to release those things that burden your heart? So come on up to center. Come on up to all fours. Tuck your toes. Press back to an easy down dog. We're just going to tread it out. Three. So a down dog takes a while. You can explore all kinds of places in your down dog. You can tread out one heel, other heel. So there's the feet to think about, maybe about hip width apart. Heels pressing toward the mat. And as the heels press down, notice that your legs engage your thigh muscles. Press down strongly through your heel. Thigh muscles engage. Notice where your belly is, is, is your lower back arching here. You want to draw in, think about your lower rib cage, snuggle it in toward you, and then press your hips back behind. Your um, shoulders away from your ears. Long line of energy from fingertips pressing down into the mat, away from your arm. And then come up on your toes, and then press your toes back down again. Child's pose anytime. You want to go to child's pose, take that. Ooh, yes. I like to kind of twirl my down dog around a little bit. Press one hip up, other hip up. Sometimes it's fun to shift forward into a long plank. <laughs> and then come back as your glasses fall off your face. And shift forward. Keep your shoulders stable here in their sockets. Just test that. Here go the glasses. Yay. And then drop into your knees, release your toes, press back to child's pose and shake out your arms. Shake out the wrists and rest. And come on up to all fours. I'm gonna turn around to face you. We're just gonna do a couple of gentle lunges here. So take the right foot ahead, press through into your lunge. Because, you know, when we've been in quarantine, we've been sitting a lot, maybe. I don't know. Some of us do, some of us don't. But if you have been sitting a lot, whatever you've been doing, these hip flexor muscles that are deep inside get tight. And this screws up your posture. It does all kinds of things to us, emotionally, physically, mentally. If we get this tight, we're all it's kind of uncomfortable. It can cause a lot of back pain. So we're going to even out our hips here. See how one this hip wants to hike up? What I'm going to do is push it down, level it out. Draw up as always in the posture, and then the hips shift forward from here with the tall spine. So coming through, yikes, and through. Take a breath. If you want to come down, hands down, that's fine too. But just notice how this feels for you today. There's always that lift in the heart. Think of those beautiful um, Gila monsters, is that what they're called? Those Komodo dragons who are just, mm. can you even stick your tongue out? Oh, a little lizard time today. And then we will press back, pull back, pull your toes up toward you. So if you can see my toes, they're pulling up, press back. So again, this hip's gonna wanna hike up, press it down, pull it back. Toes up, breath in. And then we'll just very simply take this leg back, take other foot out in front. So once again, coming up, adjusting your hips. Now you might need to have your blanket underneath your knees too. So you can pause, get yourself situated, sitting up tall here. So you're long in this leg, even in the hips, and then pressing through. Mm. Mm -hmm. So nice length and the hip flexor here, lifting up. And if you'd like to come down to Spider-Man fingers here on the floor, press through, lift. And just notice, how does this feel for you today? Mm -hmm. Just opening up a little bit, mm -hmm. yes. 
And then we'll press back, take the front toes up as we did on the other side. Once again, don't let that hip shift up, keep it level. Put your hand on it and see, do a little hula there and see what it takes to get yourself straight. Press out, toes up. Breathe, yes. And then shift forward, we'll take this leg back. Good. And then coming again to down dog, press back. And walking your feet towards your hands, hands back towards your feet, let's come on up. And um, I'm just gonna do a couple of half sun salutations today and some crescent flow. And today we're just gonna just do that and keep it a little bit short, just so that the body is open and moving and then take a Shavasana, okay? So coming back to center, let's start with a little crescent flow. I think my head's cut off, there we go. And so we'll take, come to mountain pose, nice and tall. We just wanna feel that we've stretched out end to end. So let's come on up, take your arms up, take hold of your right wrist. Let the shoulders be soft, bend your knees a little bit. Take a breath and reach up. On your exhale, arcing over. So traditionally, we take the gaze up under our arm like this, if that's comfortable. But if it isn't, keep your head in center. But you always want to make sure this top shoulder is pulled back, pulled across. And inhale, come up through center, change hands, press out. Find your breath, press, yeah. Shoulders away from your ear. And come on up. Volcano pose, take a nice reach, reach up. Exhale, dive forward, forward fold. And inhale, halfway, hands to shins. Or fingertips to the mat, or up to your knees, or up to your thighs, whatever feels right. And exhale, forward fold. And then inhale, little bend in the knees, press into your feet, sweep your arms out, come on up, palms touch. And then drawing the hands right down to center. Answering that invitation, the door, you're answering the door, come in ah, together. Okay, let's do it again. Inhale, swoop up. Maybe take a little back bend here, exhale, swoop down. Forward fold of your choice. Inhale, halfway, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. And then bend your knees a little. Inhale, press into your feet. Swoop your arms up over your head. Maybe a little back bend. Exhale, hands to your heart. And we'll just allow the hands to settle. Take a moment to feel, just be here. Notice how you feel in your body. Shoulders relaxed, heart is lifted, legs are strong. This is your body, this is your vessel. Amazing, amazing. Breathe, feel your feet on the ground. Bend your knees a little bit, lift your heart. Nice, long, tall spine from the navel to the Sternum lift up, shoulders broad, nice, good. So how does it feel to be you right this moment? It's right now. Good. And so we'll take the feet apart and just kind of twirl it out a little bit. Let everything just begin to loosen up here. And make your way back to center. Let your arms just dangle and then shake it out. Everything go. And we'll come to center, swoop down. Take your hands in a figure eight across and back, across and back. Becoming aware of the shape that you're making with your hands and as your arms flowing through space, how it feels to connect with the space around you. We'll come on up through center. 
up over your head, nice figure eight. And down, and then we'll take our hands to the pubic bone, fingertips here, draw up, up to your lips and out, and down. Drawing up to your lips, come out. So this is just opening up lines of energy in your body. Up. This is for protection, sealing yourself, Holy Spirit coming in, sealing, and spreading to the space around you and come back to heart space. Breathe. And very simply now, just come back to sitting. Bring your hands to your knees, sit up tall, take a breath. Notice how your body feels. And we'll just take a couple more breaths here. And then reaching out ahead, take your legs out. And we'll just draw back into Shavasana. So make your way down. Take your arms up over your head. Take a big stretch. And draw your knees into your chest. And now feet to the sky, arms overhead. And knees in. And drop your feet down. Take a moment to feel yourself on the floor. Notice the soles of your feet and the way they feel as they snuggle into the ground. Allow your hips to broaden and settle. Notice your back fully supported by the earth underneath, back of your head resting, arms settled. And as your knees are bent, notice that, <clears throat> notice your abdominal muscles and allow them just to completely soften here. So from here, stretching out your right leg toward the right corner of your mat and your left leg toward the left corner. Settle yourself in. Maybe if you want to take a pillow now underneath your knees for support, please do that. But if you'd like, just settling out. Notice your shoulder blades underneath. Maybe tuck them underneath you just subtly to let the shoulders drop and broaden. And we'll turn your palms up if that's comfortable in a gesture of surrender or receiving and or both. And then allowing yourself to rest, maybe closing your eyes if that's comfortable. And noticing your breath, releasing any sense of control of your breath and letting your natural desire for breath guide your inhale and your exhale. So I invite you now as you settle into your breath to release tension anywhere you might feel it in your body. Do a little body scan, maybe your neck, your face, your scalp. Allow your chest to relax. Allow your belly to soften. Notice your thighs releasing tension. And your shins, your ankles, and your feet. So that's your entire front body now. Notice how you're feeling as you softened from the crown of your head down through your face, your neck, your throat, belly, legs, and toes. And let's talk about the back of your body now. Notice any heels resting, fully supported, your calves settling in, spreading broadly into the support of the mat underneath. Moving up through your thighs and your hips. Breathing, softening. And a gentle awareness of your back, fully supportive. God's hand underneath, holding you, supporting you. Back of your head, at ease. 
And as you rest here in a soft, gentle breath, I invite you to see yourself as a part of the circle of relationship. With no need to perform, no need to do anything right, but just to be. I know that you are seen. I know that you are loved. I know that you are held. Just resting here. Just resting. And so coming back to an awareness of your body now, maybe moving fingers, toes, moving around in any way that feels right for you, taking a stretch maybe, big wake up stretch, filling that space again and luxuriating in the joy of your completeness, your wholeness, this wonderful vessel you live in. And gathering knees to chest if you'd like, rocking out side to side. And as you're ready, making your way to your side, facing your screen, that's comfortable. If you want to face away, that's good too. Whatever feels right. Allowing yourself to look around, take in your surroundings, and then press yourself up to sitting. And as we come to sitting this morning, take hands back to that Anjali Mudra. And the word Anjali means reverence. I'm going to share with you some meaning of this posture. Anjali means reverence and refers to an honor, honoring of the divinity within ourselves and all beings. It's that spark of God as you were made in his image, in God's image, whatever that looks like for you today. Anjali Mudra invokes this unity by bringing the hands together, symbolizing the integration of all the polarities within our being. This gesture directs breath, awareness, and energy into the center of the chest, supporting us and in turning inward toward our authentic being, allowing our sense of oneness with God to deepen naturally. By recognizing creation's all-encompassing unity, life's doubts, questions, and problems are resolved completely. This gesture is also used as a greeting and as a way of communicating to each person that we meet, that we recognize our essential unity, meaning that we are all created in the image of God. As he calls us to his table today. Lord God, we give you thanks for all that you are and all that you want to be to us. May we hear you knocking, may we open the door and invite you in to that banquet that you have prepared for us. We thank you and praise you for this day and for one another. In the name of Jesus, amen. Thank you all for bringing here, being here today. Shanti, shalom. See you next time. Hmm. So as always, I love you. Lots of love to everyone. Have a wonderful day, wonderful